Hi. Just a really brief disclaimer before I begin, I didn't make it through. I came into high school knowing exactly what I wanted to do with my life, which is perfectly abnormal for a 14-year-old, but that's not the troubling part. The troubling part was that I genuinely aspired to be a filthy rich housewife that married into her money and spent the majority of it on things she didn't need. I had a perfectly paved road and a perfectly drawn map that would lead me to exactly what I wanted, a life of meaninglessness, Kardashianism. But then I had these two teachers in freshman year, a history teacher and a science teacher, to be exact, and they were just the coolest. Being in their classes actually made me want to be better. And sometime in the winter of 2014, my education stopped being about the grades so much because the two of them inspired me, made me want to get really, truly educated and do something with it. Now, both are really interesting. Both are brilliant teachers, of course, but that's not what got to us and made us love them. It's that they were brilliant and we knew them well as people. One has this sort of aloof, hippy-dippy, hyper-intellectual, caustic humor that made us want to listen to him. And the other has this sort of melancholy pessimism, but unshakable faith that his students would remedy the failures of previous generations and this tough love determination to get us to see our own potential. I think the best teachers are the ones that show themselves to us and bridge the gap. The best teachers are also the ones that believe in us. One of my favorite memories in all four years of high school, I'm a senior now, is freshman year, science class, physics and chemistry. As usual, my science teacher goes off on a tangent about how the world's ultimately doomed to oblivion and really we're all just waiting to die. And then he realizes how much he's bumming us out and goes, that's the whole point of this, really. Coming to school for eight hours a day, learning things, taking tests. If the best we can do is get you kids into college, then we're not doing it well enough. And that's when I realized how much he believed in us, how much he was actually counting on us. And suddenly he turns to one of my friends, Harry, and he goes, you could be the next president of the United States. And then he turns to me. You could be the next head of the UN. And suddenly, I really, really wanted to be more than just another rich housewife. And I think that's where it all began for me. The theme of L2 this year is illuminate the next decade. Within the next decade, I'll have graduated university, gone to law school, and already be holding down a job. So really, the next decade is my decade. It belongs to me as I transition into adulthood and the generation of students that walk with me into the future. So when my TOK teacher told me about this conference, I knew immediately what I wanted to say. And that's that maybe the important thing isn't to get students to beat information into their brains and then forget it as soon as the test is over but to inspire them, actually motivate them to learn so that they can go out there and contribute to society in their lifetime, to connect with them, show them that education isn't just going through the motions and waiting minute by minute for your lunch break, but actually genuinely loving learning. Because teachers really do change lives. Just one, just one that you connect with changes you forever. I know that firsthand. And I got really lucky. Two teachers changed my life forever. And in the end, 20, 30 years from now, I'm going to remember them as the people who taught me how to think. And anything I achieve in the future can probably be traced back to them. And they changed my life. I think sometimes as teachers, you guys forget just how much you can influence your students, just how much you can inspire them to be good people. And to sum up, I guess what I'm trying to say is that we're looking up to you. And the things you do in your classroom actually makes a difference to us, even if we don't know it sometimes, and even if you don't either, even if we don't tell you enough. So thank you.